Today I'm visiting a trial in eastern Nebraska that was planted with Sureforce. And driving through the countryside, this terrain is rich with farmable terraces, a lot of no-till, and this is the type of environment that when I'm driving around and I see poor quality stands, I know that that particular operation has a huge value to be gained from having a system like Sureforce. And this particular trial, I'm excited because it's no-till, it's in those farmable terraces, and only half the planter has Sureforce. So we're gonna be able to compare the stand quality of what's planted with the factory springs versus the Sureforce system. Center of a planter pass along a farmable terrace. The rows to the left are equipped with Sureforce. The rows to the right are equipped with the factory springs. This type of environment is where Sureforce pays for itself quickly, and there are several reasons why. Let's talk about them. The first factor at play is simply the position of the row unit, whether it's above or below parallel. When you've got factory springs on the planter and the row unit is running below parallel, there's very little tension on those springs, which equates to very little downforce. So right here at the bottom of the terrace, this is a spring row, the row unit was below parallel, we don't have enough downforce to get a good stand. When we compare that to some of the rows that were uphill, where those springs are stretched tighter, here we've got a better stand. The Sureforce system easily corrects the problems that's created by the springs. For one, this row unit here is equipped with Sureforce, and that row unit's running below parallel, but the hydraulic cylinder's not affected by that varying spring tension like we see below the terrace. Further, the gauge wheels on every row are equipped with a sensor, so we can monitor the force on each row, and the Sureforce system adjusts accordingly. And that's how we can get a consistent stand row to row, regardless of those row units being above or below parallel. A second factor as to why Sureforce pays so quickly in farmable terraces or contours in general is just the amount of force it takes to keep the row unit in the ground. When you're driving straight, it's not much, but as soon as you go around a contour and that opening disc starts to twist, it wants to come out of the ground. Sureforce will apply more force to the row unit keeping the row unit in the ground, and that's why we have a nice consistent stand around this contour. Row nine is the first row that's equipped with springs, and they simply cannot account for the extra force that's required to keep the row unit in the ground, and that's why we have missing plants, unemerged plants. You see that the seed is there, just wasn't placed at depth. A third factor as to why Sureforce pays for itself so quickly in farmable terraces is all the residue that washes downhill. It's harder to cut through that mat of residue. Sureforce can apply more force on the row unit to make sure that seed gets to some soil. The springs that planted right here can't do that. And that is in part why we see a much thinner stand where we've got this pile of residue. Those factors are why Sureforce is gonna pay dividends on this farm. If you've got terraces or contours like this in your operation, consider adding Sureforce to your planter for next season.